What's up, guys? Today I'm going to answer the question of why is my course so freaking expensive? All right, let's dive into it. So there's a few reasons, guys. Number one is I teach both tax and mortgage overages. This is important because it allows you to work this business nationwide. Whereas if you only learn tax overages, you are limited to the number of states that you can work in, okay? So just as a quick review, mortgage overages are generated when a mortgage is foreclosed upon. Somebody quits paying their mortgage payment to the bank, bank comes in, foreclose on the property, property sells for more than what's owed to the bank, and there's an overage. Tax overages are when somebody loses a property to not paying their property taxes, the county comes in, forecloses, it sells for more than what's owed to the county, and there's an overage left over. Okay, so there's... That's important to understand the differences between those two because they are ruled by different laws. Tax sale overages are governed by property tax law. Mortgage overages are governed by foreclosure law. Okay, So if you can only work tax overages, well, that's going to limit the amount of deals in the states you can work because there are some states where either A, tax sale overages are not generated because of the process that they do there, or two, there are some states that if a tax, if an overage is generated from a tax sale, the county can actually keep that money. Um, that is changing currently in some states, but there are still states that pocket that extra money. It's terrible. Now, reason number two, uh, my program is the only program that will partner with you on estate cases. An estate case is where the homeowner has passed away. And so that overage, that surplus is owed to their heirs, okay? That's an estate case. We're the only program that will partner with you on those types of deals. Why is that important? If you're not working estate cases, you're cutting about, about 20 to 30% of your potential deals, okay? You're cutting out a third of the market, which is eliminating potentially a third of your profit, okay? So be aware of that. Um, again, I don't know any other program that will partner with you on estate deals. Secondary, we have very high profit splits with our partners. We do a 50-50 split with our partners. That's very high, okay? Um, to my knowledge, there's only two programs out there that will actually partner with you on your deals. Now, why would you even want a partner? Number one, if you are limited on time, okay? Okay. If you're limited on time, maybe you work a full-time job, you work a nine to five, so you don't have as much time as you'd like to dedicate to the business. So then if you can share the workload and you can get those deals done, that will help you, you know, see success faster, okay? And that can jumpstart you to where you actually get to a point where it's like, okay, now I have some income set aside. Now I can dedicate more time to this, okay? It's a stepping stone. Or if you simply don't want to worry about, you know, filing paperwork, making sure everything's done correctly, paying for attorneys, finding attorneys, you know, stuff like that, we'll do all that for you, okay? So that's one of the benefits of partnering. Now, the other thing that I pride myself in is with my program, when I update the material and when I add things into the program, that is at no additional cost. It's free if you're a student, okay? So that's something that's very important because, because I'm actively involved in the business. I will update material or add material into the course so that you can succeed and so that you can be in the loop and up to date with things because things change in this business. Laws change, uh, the markets change, all that good stuff, okay? So that's also, you know, one of the benefits of, you know, why I charge what I charge. The th Another thing is access, okay? Specifically access to me. You know, I don't have a staff of coaches. I don't outsource coaches. When you are in the course and you ask questions under the modules, okay? So I can show you just kind of a quick, let me show you the inside of the course real quick, okay? Under each module, under each video, 
there is a box where you can, a comment box where you can ask questions or, you know, add comments or whatever. I answer all of those personally. Okay. If you're in the private Facebook group and you ask a question, I answer that personally. Um, it's me that does the weekly coaching calls. If you're in those, okay. I don't outsource it to anybody else. That's a big difference between a lot of other programs is the person that is the face of the program is very rarely the person that's actually helping you. Okay. That's just how it is for other programs. Okay. The person that's offering the course to you is not the one that's going to be helping you after you purchase it. Whereas with me, I am the one helping you. Okay. So you have access to me. And that's important again. Be why? Because I'm actively in the business, actively doing deals. Okay. So, which leads to the, my other point is real experience, real results. Okay. Yes, I've gone through many courses. Okay. But it is my implementation and my real live knowledge that is very important that can help you succeed. Okay. Is because I'm not just sharing what I've learned. I'm sharing what I've experienced. And there are some folks out there that cannot say the same. Some of those programs that you are seeing aren't, weren't even created by the person selling them. Okay. Some of the people selling courses don't even have actual experience in surplus funds. Okay. So be aware of that. Be aware of that. When you have somebody that is teaching you and they're teaching you based on real life experience, you can expect better results versus someone that's teaching you just from theory. Okay. Makes sense. All right. So go, let me go back real quick. I'll share with you. So if you're inside the course, okay, lots of modules, let's say you go into here, down here, all these comments, I respond to these personally. Okay. So there's not a, I don't have a staff that's outsourcing, you know, outsourcing support basically. Okay. Now going back to results as well, guys, if you follow the teachings in the program, and if you do the work, you can see results. And that's not just a claim. I'm not just claiming that to try to persuade you. Go to my YouTube channel. Go to the playlists. Go click on Overage Syndicate course reviews and testimonials. Okay, You can see interviews that I've done with students, videos that they've shared. Okay, I think there's over 60 videos here alone that you can go look and you can go see, hey, are people actually getting results from this program? Are they actually making money? Like go do your own due diligence and go check those out. There's also the webpage, okay? The main course webpage. Go check out some of the results there and the testimonials there and see if people are actually seeing results from the program, okay? So again, what I teach is real based on my experience. And when people put the program to work, if they take the action, they can they are seeing results and you can go read those results you can go see those results for yourselves okay there's also the public facebook group you can see people posting pictures of their checks and their deals and telling stories you can go in there as well okay um, just google or facebook overages excess proceeds surplus funds how to profit okay it's a public group it's free you can join you can do some more due diligence there okay so Bottom line, real experience, real results. Finally, is what I have found, guys, is the bigger the investment, the greater the level of commitment. The greater you are committed to something, the more likely that you're going to succeed at it. Okay? What I mean by that is I have purposely price my program kind of on the higher end to, how do I put this? Here's the thing, guys. When you when you buy my program, it's got to sting a little bit, 
It's got to hurt a little. Why? Because here's something that I found. This is not theory either. This is based on the actual numbers. So when I first launched my course, it wasn't 100% complete. And so I was selling it for $799. When I completed it, it moved up to $1299. Okay. This was in 2020. In January of 2021, I increased the course to $2,000. So an $800 increase almost. No, $700. It was $1,299, moved to $2,000. Not good at math. <laughs> so $700 increase. That's, that's a pretty big leap, right? Guess what happened in my numbers? Specifically, my chargeback refund rate. It dropped. I have left refunds and charge backs now than I did when my course was cheaper. And I think it is because when you put down that investment, people are committed to seeing it through. At least that's been my what I've seen from my students and from the numbers. Okay. Now my course has a very low refund rate. Did you know that the average refund rate for a digital product is around 15, 20%? Mine is less than 2%. So there's also some numbers to kind of back that says, okay, this is a good product, okay? Based on those that have purchased it. Now, but here's the bottom line, guys. Um, here's the bottom line. Every course has value. All of them have value, okay? decide which one that you resonate with the most okay when you're there's there's other programs out there besides mine do some due diligence look into them compare contrast pray about it think about it you don't have to make a decision today you know the, these courses aren't going anywhere um tap into your you know the spirit, the universe, the galaxy, God, wh whatever you believe in, make a decision that you feel good about, okay? All courses have value. Let me just make a couple points here before we wrap this up on, well, how do you know if, here's how you can eliminate my course, okay? Here's how you can rule out my course completely. Because here's the thing, guys, I don't really want to convince you or to sell you on my program. If you don't see value in it, then don't buy it, okay? okay? I would rather work with fewer individuals that are committed to the process than sell a bunch of programs to people who aren't going to follow through on it, okay? That's for me. That's my stance. I would rather work with less people, sell less courses, but have those few people be committed and see results. And obviously, I'd love to partner with them too, right? It benefits me if someone buys a course and then they joint venture with me on deals. But a lot of my students, the vast majority of them, they work independently. They do deals on their own. And that's something I'm very proud of is that many of my students have surpassed me when it comes to success and overages. I have students that have made more money than me, done more deals, in a less amount of time. And that means I've done my job as an instructor, as a an teacher and a coach is that I've helped them succeed. Now, I've only played a small role. Anyone who sees results from my program, that's on them. The benefit, the credit goes to them because they did the work. And so here's how you know if my course is not a good fit for you. Listen carefully. The bottom line is if you lack faith in yourself, okay? And what that means is if you believe that just buying a program is going to magically bring checks to your mailbox, then you should not buy my program. If you believe that just simply owning a course is going to make you successful and that it's not the actual thing you do, from what you learn from that course, then you should not buy my program, okay? 
if you're someone that needs your hand held and you cannot independently learn and take action on what you learn and you need someone to coddle you, you should not buy my course, okay? If you need to be convinced that it's a good idea to get involved in surplus funds and overages, don't buy my program. If you need, you know, someone to, well, I already said that. If you need someone to hold your hand, if you can't handle obstacles and adversity, if you cannot handle people rejecting you, don't buy my course. If you simply don't believe that the program or this business can help you achieve your goals, why are you here? Don't buy any course, including mine. If you don't believe it works, if you don't believe the process actually is doable, don't buy my program. If you're looking for something that's easy, where you just sign up and then you sit back and wait and you don't have to do anything or hardly anything, don't buy my program, okay? Finally, if you're not where you want to be in life because of X reason, and if that reason doesn't involve you, don't buy my course. And I would recommend not buying any course or getting into any sort of business because you're not ready. Here is the bottom line, guys. You are the key to your own salvation. Wherever you want to be, whatever you want to do, it is determined by the actions that you take, okay? Even if what I said is not true, let's say that your actions are not, do not determine your results in life. Let's just say everything is luck. It does you no good to have the belief that things are outside of your control, that your life is outside of your control. If you don't believe that you can achieve something because, oh, the government makes us pay too much taxes, or it is corrupt, or this person did this to me, or I was born this in this neighborhood, or I had this family, okay? Those are all things that, yes, impact all of us. But if your belief is you can't achieve something because of those things, you're screwed. Because what you are doing with that belief is you're just saying, I have no power. I have no control. And if that's the belief you have, why would you bother to do anything? What hope do you have? What faith would you have? And I think a lot of people fall into that bucket. And so, and we all have a victim mentality at some level. There, it's a range, right? All of us have some sort of victim mentality, but we need to work on eliminating that, okay? And so, again, if you believe that you're not where you want to be because of whatever reasons, and none of those reasons involve you or your actions or your lack of actions, don't get my program because you need to work on your mindset first. I did not believe this when I first started in this business. Many people said success is 90% mindset, 10% tactical. I thought that was hogwash. I thought it was BS. Turns out, now that I've experienced some little bit of success, it very much is about your mindset. Okay? And so if you don't have the right mindset, none of the programs are going to work for you. Okay? So that's my take on that. Again, those are the reasons why, along with some others, do your due diligence, guys. Go with your gut. Go with your gut on wh whatever program you decide, or maybe you decide, uh, maybe this business is not for you, and that's fine, okay? Perfectly fine. Just because you learn about an opportunity doesn't mean you need to, you know, 
go after the opportunity. Opportunities are a dime a dozen. There's hundreds, thousands of opportunities out there for you. Overages is one opportunity in a, in a sea of thousands. And so I hope that, you know, of course I make these videos, right? To, you know, you know, I want to work with people. I want people to buy my program so I can partner with them. But if I also help you determine that this business isn't for you, that's a good thing, okay? Like, I want to also educate folks on this opportunity so that they can decide whether it's a good fit for them. So just take some time, don't rush. If you're considering this, take some time. Again, check in, pray about it, think about it. Go with your gut, whether it's mine or somebody else's. That's my advice for you. I hope that helps. And um, yeah, have a great day. If you are interested in my program, you can go to school.overagecourse.com. Okay. That's where also you can see those testimonials, do some due diligence. You can also see everything that's included in the course, okay? So you can see exact, the whole curriculum down here. You can see what's included. If we can get there, <laughs> here we go. Here's all the lessons that are included, okay? Teach you how to find your leads, how to do your due diligence, how to research debt, how to skip trace, okay? how to create your own lead list, what to say to claimants or scripts, okay? How to contact them, what paperwork to use, examples of the paperwork, how to find attorneys, where to find attorneys, how to scale your business. You know, there's some state specific ones, partnering, a bunch of bonuses. There's actually a, a list of leads here for you, okay? Um, lots of good stuff. So go check that out. Do your due diligence. And then again, go with your gut. Okay. Hope that helps. We'll see you later.